Mixed species of vivaria, it's a very hotly contested subject in herpetoculture. What are things people can do to go about this in a responsible way? I mean, I think the first thing that's most important is to like research, research, research. I mean, a kind of boring thing to say in response, but it's super true. Try to understand their natural history, their ecology, and particularly like what niche they occupy within their environment because reducing competition, mm -hmm. it's all about knowing how the species you work with utilize the space. And so before trying to put a bunch species together mm -hmm. keep them all individually get an idea of how they utilize the environment that you provide them and then that will really strongly inform what could work and what could potentially not work at home you said you keep the uh, sulfurious and you have it more set up as a uh, biotope ask do you think keeping species that uh, are sympathetic with one another do you think that's a better thing to do than keeping maybe species that might inhabit a similar kind of environment but don't overlap i think it's really up to personal preference i mean that's what i like to do because i'm i'm a geek and <laughs> as you know. And so I really like to try and make it as accurate as I can. Obviously I can never get there, but it's like the North Star that's guiding me, you know? But I've seen people really successfully do stuff like take like a green tree python, but it's with like new world dart frogs. Yeah. It works, mm -hmm. you know? And so again, like it's it's all about what does that species need? What are its parameters? What's, what's compatible, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of that? And then are those actual species compatible? Just because they live in the same broad habitat doesn't mean they're gonna be compatible together. Right.